Yo, what's going on, Collide fans? How's everyone doing? Hope you guys are having an awesome day. So, a couple days ago, uh, NVIDIA had a special event that they hosted. And every time they host those kind of events, all those technology companies, when they host them, they usually launch a product, right? Uh, no one knew what the product was going to be. People speculated it was going to be like uh, the new Titan X. Some people said it's going to be a whole new product. Some people said it's going to be like an 80, the new 80 version or whatever. No one knew what it is, right? But pretty much right now, I just want to show you this. Right now, the best graphic card in the market right now, this second, is the uh, Titan X. It's the best one in version, right? The best performance and all that stuff, right? The fastest graphic card you can possibly get. That's for the babe. Some people say, you know, it's an 980 Ti or whatever. But for uh, the company themselves, say their best graphic card themselves. Uh, I'm not asking you guys. I'm asking the company themselves, say the Titan X is the best, okay? So don't argue with the own company, okay? Because I know a lot of people fight between the 980 Ti. I like the 980 Ti more than the Titan, to be honest. But the company themselves say their best graphic card is Titan X, right? It's the best one. It's expensive as hell. $1,400. That's crazy expensive. That costs more than many of your guys' whole computer setup, right? Way more, right? That's kind of crazy. Uh, yeah, so you see different prices. Around 1500 Canadian, right? Uh, when you convert to, to American, it's like 1200 American, something like that. Yeah, so that's their best graphic card. Crazy, right? So pretty much what they launched was, uh, what, what they were launching was the 9, uh, 1080 GTX card, right? Uh, honestly, my favorite. I like the 780, the 980, those kinds. And now it's the 1080, right? I was like, wow, it's going to be awesome. And I can't wait. How is it going to be like the performance? How much is it going to cost? All those questions. So I'm going to let you know. Go. I'm going to let you guys know right now. All right. First of all, let me show you this right here, right? Look. So here it shows you. Here's the power, right? how much power it requires so the less is better you don't want to use as much power so the less the better you don't want it to be too high the titan x uses a lot of power a lot of power right and here's the performance right obviously the performance you want to have the higher the higher performance the better so the best uh thing here is to have high performance low power as possible which is the best uh thing you want right so here's the titan x obviously right here from all the 980 and all those it's the best performance right but also uses the most um power right here is the 1080. The 1080 is the fastest graphic card, faster than the Titan X, by two times. Double the speed of the Titan X, the best graphic card currently right now. Do you know how crazy that is? And three times less energy than the Titan X. Do you know how crazy that is? Three times less energy and two times faster than the fastest graphic card right here. And when I saw that, I'm like, oh my god. I wasn't happy at all. I'm like, oh my god. So the best graphic card right now will cost $1,400. American will be $1,200, right? I was like, <clears throat> that this graphic card, 1080, that was just launched right now, that's going to be crazy. It's going to cost like $2,000, $2,000 and a half. It's going to be crazy. I just screw it. I shut the I shut the light. I was watching this thing, event, live stream, when they announced it. I was like, nah, screw it. I just closed it. I got pissed off. I closed it, whatever. Guess how much, guys, this thing cost? It's half the price. Have the price of this. It costs six hundred dollars when, when it comes out. Six hundred dollars. That's it. It's two times faster than this, right? Uses three times less power and it's half the price. I was like, how is that possible? How the hell is that shit possible? Like, this can't be true. How can they do this? And this is how they did it, right? So here you see all the difference between the nine eighty and the ten eighty, right? All the difference, whatever. Their best, their best GPU uh, architecture. Um, technology that they used was Maxwell. That was the best that they had ever. Now they made a new technology called Pascal, right? And Pascal, I was like, what the hell's Pascal? Whatever. I did a lot of research on it and whatever. And basically, they put billions of dollars on this technology. Two, they, they've been working on it for two years and they put billions of dollars on it. And they had thousands of engineers. I, I did all this research, right? Thousands of engineers and billions of dollars to create this technology called Pascal, which allowed this, which allowed the, all this performance and like it's freaking crazy, right? So you can see all the difference right here and all the view, the specs and all that stuff. So it's absolutely crazy. Do you know what I feel bad for? Imagine like two weeks ago, you bought this Titan for $1,200 American. And then you saw this, uh, you saw the launch of, of this thing, the new product and all that things. And it's half the price and faster than this by double the speed, three times less power energy that it requires and have the price. And you just wasted your money on the Titan. I'd be pissed if I have a Titan right now. I feel so bad for those guys, you know? But that's that's actually pretty awesome. So imagine, look. So now for the price of the Titan, you can get two 1080s, right? With double the performance and all those things. Imagine you can play like, imagine all the games you can play right now. It's and this. Uh, hold on, let me show you. Right, and this graphic card is gonna be out in June, mid June. That's what they said, mid June. So yeah, we'll be out in mid June. And I'm curious to see what people do with it. I want to see the bills. So will people buy like two of them? Put two of them together? Will they put like? 
I want to know what they're gonna do with, the, the, with those things. I want to know like the specs and all those things. So before you go buying it, just wait a bit, see what people do with it and uh, the reviews of it. And I highly recommend you guys watch someone called Linus Tech Tips, a Canadian guy. He's he's like the best in technology, and hardware and stuff. So just wait, be patient, and let's see what people do with it. And I'm definitely buying one. Definitely buying one. I just want to wait a little bit. It's not even out right now. It's gonna be out in in a month and a half, right? So it's not out yet. Also, this is cool. So they have the um, SLI bridge and the SLI bridge what basically does is when you have two graphic cards right it basically when you have two graphic cards you want to use them you want it like it like sings them together like transfers the here says uh, transfers the, the bandwidth right so this was really cool um I was really, I like it uh, very much but the cool thing about it, it's like it's, no the bad thing about it, it's only compatible with the uh, GTX um, 1080 so if you have the 980 or any older graphic card it won't work which makes sense it's compatible with um with the new uh, check architecture <laughs> i can't say that word really hard architecture of this um this because they use the pascal this uh, thing or whatever right whole new technology a lot of bullshit and whatever too, too big for us right let's just say it's good technology and we're good right no need to go into the details because i i don't even know it right i just watched the video they said double the speed double this double this uh some of you guys are more tech savvy than me you guys can figure all this stuff out uh, so yeah, I look forward to what people do with it. Let me know guys in the comment section what you guys think about that. Will you buy it? If it only costs $600. With this graphic card, you can play any game. Almost like any game, no problem. You're going to have like amazing performance all the time. Honestly, if you guys have this graphic card, you play Conquer Online, you will feel like you're playing with Unlock FPS every time. It, you're not going to have Unlock FPS, but it just feels smooth in your TC, right? In Guild Wars. A thousand accounts beside you, it will be like nothing. Like no one's beside you, the only guy on the server. Like like a million people a million players in guild work capture the flag it will not even have any effect you're gonna have 40 fps no matter what right and it's gonna be like like look in conquer online all the time i have i always have 40 fps all the time no matter what right i have the 780 uh, i haven't updated my computer for two years ever since i bought it and built it and whatever pretty much um yeah so i always have 40 fps which is the highest and all that amazing right but sometimes the game kind of it's 40 fps but it kind of feels like like slow like laggy not my ping but it's my computer like the fps is maxed out but it feels like delayed like something feels off like it feels like slow and like i like everything like it feels just really messed up you know so i think this would if i had something like this and i play conquer online it would really help uh, I don't know what it is, but with my computer, but that happens all the time. Unless you have unlock FPS, then you won't have any problem at all because your FPS is way too high, right? Yeah, so let me know guys in the comment section if you guys would buy this. What do you think about it? If you guys know more of the technology about it, let me know in the comment section. And yeah, have an awesome day, guys. Thank you so much. Peace.